Sexy talk with me, CC. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's get this started. So, my brother, how I first met you, believe it or not, I already told you, but I gotta tell you again. So, I had just graduated from Prairie View, shout out to Prairie View or whatever. And I started smoking real heavy. I'm talking weed people. I started smoking heavier than I have ever smoked in my life. Like I ain't really I don't really consider myself a weed smoker before I got out of college. But I started hearing this one song, thanks to CeCe. This song was called The Motherfucking Pre-Roll. Yeah. And if you haven't listened to it first, I'll go listen to that because it'll change your fucking life. My man was rapping. How was y'all? It was you and Pat Ryan. Pat Ryan How was y'all doing that though? Like, because it was going fast and it was going slow. Bro, really, the reason why I slowed it down is because I didn't like my voice. What? Yeah, like when I heard the song, like I didn't like how it sounded, so I just slowed it down on virtual DJ. Oh man. It just sounded better, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna drop it like this. So y'all just did the slow, then the fast. Cause you 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 get fast for a little bit on there. If y'all can hear the original song, it's not that good. I don't believe like, that. It gotta, it gotta sound like this. Like it still is good, but it's like my part ain't as good cause it's like regular speed. Straight up regular like, speed. That shit really kinda made the song. It did make the song. That's it. But y'all, y'all niggas can flow off each other though. Yeah. That's yeah. the crazy part. Like it's like a back and forth thing. It's kind of like what we do with Too Easy. Yeah. It's just like that. You know what I'm saying? But you really got that chemistry there. Okay? For real, for real. With the, with the just the way we rap and everything, I feel like we've been influenced by a lot of the same artists. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we definitely gonna talk about that influence too. Yeah. So let's start from the top, my brother. Where are you from? Duncanville, Texas. Shouts out to motherfucking Duncanville. <laughs> 2015 class, just like that. Shouts out to them. Shouts out to them. So, what made you start rapping? Though? Uh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> it was one day at lunch, right? I was, I was a freshman. Okay. And like this kid was trying to rap out of me in the cafeteria and shit. <laughs> so like. <laughs> I did that shit, and then like the attention from it was kind of hard to me, so I was like kind of fucking with that shit. <laughs> and then I think somebody I knew was trying to make a song, and like I don't even know how, but I found somebody to record us, and then we went and recorded. The song was terrible. I remember the kids <laughs> in my school was talking about me and shit. <laughs> and, like, fast forward like two years later, I was still trying to do it. Uh -huh. I just got better. And, Nice, That's pretty nice. much it. Yeah, I don't know. It was just, just happy, bro. Like, I just. What would you say equipped the 
did your photo? Like, what gave you your sound? Because uh, you don't sound like everybody else. You got a real specific sound to you. See, really, to be honest, I don't know. I think it's because my nose is crooked, so I can't. <laughs> no count. Nobody sound like me because my face literally, like, is, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't get that? Oh, I get that. Oh, I, I, I get it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Everybody got that unique. It makes my my, my uh, voice sound different. I feel like because my nose is slanted, so like my I don't know. Like I, I if my shit was straight. The nasal cavity. You don't know. Yeah. 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 I sound different. <laughs> <right. Yeah. laughs> I get that. I get that. But you gotta be thankful for that because that's really what gives you the unique sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I hear a song with you in it or your song, I know I'm listening to you. You know, every, every rapper can't say that. But not, like, as far as rappers that influence me, I say, like, uh, you know, of course, the cliche, like, Eminem, Mac, Of course, of course. Uh, Shout out to Mac, that was all at J. Cole. Kendrick, J. Cole, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking our language up there. Andre 3000. Of course. Um, like, all the, all really a lot of the legends, uh, like, I really, it's crazy because I didn't become a uh, UGK fan until, like, probably, like, four years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, and I, I listen to a lot of other shit. Like, I was mostly some New York rappers when I started listening. Right, I didn't grow right. up on rap either. Like I just okay. I started listening to rap when I was like in like sixth grade, fifth grade. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't like fourth grade. Before that, I didn't even really know who a lot of people were. Like I wasn't watching MTV yet. Yeah. So what was you listening to then before you was listening uh, to rap? Well, I didn't really have like I didn't have like a uh, shit to listen to music on, so I didn't listen to what anybody was. Oh yeah, and, my, and I was like, my grandparents raised me, so I was yeah, saying, so, so like, you had some old, some old, 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 old yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so That was really what I grew up on. You ever thought about bringing some of that into your new music? Uh, I be trying to, but it's, it's gonna take some time. I they thought they was, can, bro. They was on some other shit, like low key. Uh, not just the pen, bro. Like samples and shit. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know. The new, I don't know. You'll see, maybe. I don't know. You'll see. Well, that's that's maybe, hey, I got some exclusive. You know what I'm saying? First looks. <laughs> First looks. <laughs> wait on it. Wait on it. But nah, man, that's dope theory. That's dope theory. So when did you like actually go after as ease? Like, when did all that come? All right, so like on some random ass shit, my friend K Vation had an interview with Sean Carter. Mm -hmm. And this is like when Say Cheese was like just starting and shit. Mm -hmm. So I have to say cheese, like, man. 2013, probably 2012. Yeah. And uh, he had a, like a freestyle and shit. And so I was there because he was in the same rap group and I was trying to like freestyle too. But like Sean Loki he cut my part out and then put me in that hub. But when he said my name, he said it wrong. And like, I kind of just went with he it. Called mm -hmm. he, he called you easy. No, he called you E. Now I was going by J E's. This is my last name is E. So okay. like, he said J E's and I was like, and I was gonna say that's not my name. Somebody was somebody was like, hey, this shit kinda hard. So I was like, bro, <laughs> bro, 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 I said, bro, he fucking hard. I was like, yeah, I went to, so eventually I took the J out of it and just went by ease. And then yeah. the sleazy shit was really just my Instagram shit with people be calling me sleazy and shit. So, so they just say, fuck the ease. Hey, sleazy! Yeah, I mean, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. So talk about when you met Pat. Uh, shit, me and Pat Ron really met through SoundCloud mm -hmm. on some, like, like, he was fucking with one of my songs, and he, he was, uh, he fucked with Nature Nate, too. Yeah. He was trying to get some songs with Nate. Um, and then, shit, he sent me the song, bro, and I was like, yeah. I actually went and listened to his, his songs on SoundCloud, so I was like, yeah, we can work. And then, uh, it just went from there, bro. Like, it wasn't like, we wasn't really, like, planning on being Pat Ron and Ease. It just, right. everybody wanted it to be that after we made the song. Shit, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> I, heard, I, ain't gonna lie. I thought it was Pat Ron and Ease. Like, for real, for real. But it's nice to see, like, how you make connections. Because, like, even with this show, like, I, when I sent that DM, son, I didn't even expect to hear back from you. You know what I'm saying? I, it was like a shot in the motherfucking dark. You know? I like doing shit like this. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that shit dope. Man. And, like, the, the way you had the pop, like, the, uh, the, like the cartoon of all four yeah, of them, that yeah. shit was so hard when I seen it, I was like, yeah, that shit, I, I felt like it was, you know, I seen a couple of videos on Instagram, I'm like, yeah, this shit can go somewhere. Appreciate that, man. Hey, y'all heard the man hey. Hey. Shoot them likes up. Oh, we up. We up. Okay. I got a question. Hey, so, were you, were you musically inclined before you started rapping? Like, were you a man or something? Mm. Nah. You just rapping. You, know, you would do started. nothing before rapping, like. You would have beaten on the table. Yeah, no, good times. Damn! I, I really don't got no rhythm either. 
I think I just wanted to ex like, express myself, like, just like, cause like, when I found out I could rap and then like, really say some shit that I yeah. wanted to say and right. shit, and then like, but say it in a way where like, you know, I fucked with that shit, yeah. so that's really yeah. what made me want to do it, like, yeah. I just so happened to make a, a like a stoner song that people fuck with. I, before that, I wasn't even trying to make that type of shit. I was yeah. just making shit I felt like people would fuck with. I don't even know. I, I really was making shit about my own life. <laughs> so, I think in a sense you were musically inclined. You, you just, just didn't know. know. Yeah, 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 you just didn't know. You just yeah, never yeah. tried shit. Because I've I heard a lot of your music, brother. And for you to say you ain't got no rhythm, that's bullshit. Hey, no, I didn't have any rhythm, I guess. But like, <laughs> okay. I still yeah. feel like I don't have rhythm sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like... <laughs> uh, since, you brought, up, since you brought up Stoned, <laughs> Let's talk about what took you into that past. What took you into the motherland of the week? Shit, really, I say Power On, bro, with the free road song. Cause like, mm. I mean, I was already smoking this shit before that, but yeah. I wasn't trying to like make that type of music. You yeah. know, like, I wasn't even really, I have no, uh, like, you know, I have like a theme to what yeah. I was doing. Like, I made this, my first mixtape was Columbine, bro. Like, uh -huh. I, was, I was really trying to be on some like, uh, Super rebellious shit, like I don't know, like <laughs> straight like that. Cosmo, y'all probably know what the fuck that is. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, like I, it was really. You gotta like, know that shit, like okay, yeah, that's some crazy shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy, man. That's so crazy. your time. So <laughs> when, when were you the ever? When have you ever been like the most fucked up? What's the highest you ever been? Uh, one time I did shrooms and I thought I lost my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I was, what? I was crying and shit. Bro, so what's the feeling you get from that shit? Like, uh, it depends on how much you take. But it, it's really like different strains do different things. Like, mm. so there's some shit you gotta eat. Yeah. Mm. That shit is really like, like a real mushroom. Oh uh, yeah. They grow in the dark, bro. They grow in the dark, like, and it's like. Once you once you read into to what mushrooms do, and after you do it one time, yeah, you either get really hooked or you like this shit still be interesting and you just leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. that's what everybody say. You keep on hooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some people be hooked on that shit. Yeah, nah, yeah. you can't get addicted to shrooms. I don't think. Oh, okay. I don't think you get addicted to it. That shit crazy. Different strains and shit too. Just like weed. Yeah. yeah. That's what? What? That is what's up, man. So so like different strains, you get like different feelings or some shit. Yeah, they say uh. It's like it's a it's a study on it like about shrooms increasing brain cell growth and shit. It increases. It's a study on it. I don't know yeah. if it's a fact yet. It's, like, it's a lot of people talking about it. It might unlock the other ninety potential in your fucking brain and shit. No, for real. Oh, <laughs> that's what I think inspired that movie. No cap. Yeah. Because if you think about it, shrooms is a drug, and they talk about drugs. They talk about drugs, but they be saying, "Oh, yo, like the rest of your shit." That's crazy. Like, think about the shit they said you can do and see, like, with the rest of your brain that we can't even tap into. So we only see, like, 12%. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so just increasing that shit, like, for, like, two, three hours, like. So do y'all, do y'all feel that we do that? I'm talking about all y'all. We might increase that beat by like 1%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Shrew will probably yeah. put that home like 50%. Nah, we yeah, probably knock it down a couple percent. You think so? Yeah, I'll be feeling slow. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> then, wait, wait, nigga, do me stuck again. Nah, that shit don't exist. Nah, that shit don't increase that shit. If you yeah. get high, high, you'll just be there. Just stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With that being said, the genre, because I call it the weed genre, is we mm -hmm. artists. Like, I got you in there, Pat is in there, of course, Wiz Khalifa, Currency. I would say Larry June, but he more of the little, he'll look different. But who would you like to work with? Like, who was a, a dream person that you wish to work with? If they even in that genre. I used to want to work with Mac Miller really bad. Bro. Ah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. That, like, that, like, that shit would have been nice, really bro. Really, like, no cap. But now I'm probably like, Devin the dude. Oh, Devin the dude. oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. That'd be hard. Learn to y'all motherfuckers right now. So y'all don't even know who the fuck Devin the dude is. So Look hard. it up. <laughs> he got the classes. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Who, is there anybody you will be, you ain't gotta ask the question if you don't want to, but is there anybody you will be opposed to working with? Like, uh, no 
I still work with the clown for the clout, for real. Yeah, <laughs> that's real shit. That's real shit. Hey, cause that nigga hot. I don't know, right? It, it really, I don't know. Like, who, who? I don't know. Like, it's just no. I just think of I just don't like. Yeah. Right, 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 right. All right. So what about the like, upcoming, like upcoming ass rapper? He only got like three followers. <laughs> Saying, well, I make a song with him? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put him on your song? Nah, I don't really know. <laughs> nah, I don't really know. You just can't stand hold on. Yeah, come up a little bit. Because it might, like, because it's like, it's, it's just, it's like, it's different. It's like, you gotta bring me to your world because I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Being from Dallas, please tell me that you are like Mavis fan. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I support. Yeah. I support home. Okay. Okay. Any fucking way. Good. That nigga though. Pittsburgh all motherfucking day. Steelers all day. And the heat. And the heat. Mavis cool. Mavis cool. Mavis cool though. I like Luca. Let me say that. I like Luca. Luca going hard. I fuck with the stars. I fuck with the stars. When they come, he was in the stars. He was going for the heat. You got that right. I was going for the heat. Both times. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> and he was bringing up the first time, right? Well, see, it was a good thing. Because when y'all won 11, I can celebrate too. Because I'm from Dallas, so I can celebrate too. <laughs> I won. Yeah. Damn, yo. Get triple D. Goddamn. Shit. Right. What you mean? Just like that. I had that shit. Because when we live in Pittsburgh, and them folks win, I ain't going to be like, I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Still cowboy, I'm gonna enjoy the festivities. Yeah, 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 you feel me? I'm gonna eat the food and shit, but still cowboy. Whatever. So you got a new project out, my brother, the ease up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. Uh, I say that the music I'm finna drop probably not gonna sound like that again. Cause like it was like that was me on some bullshit. Okay. So I'm finna be on some more serious shit with the next one. And then I'm gonna get back on some bullshit. Wait, wait on that I can't just be on bullshit all the time. I feel like yeah. I might wrongly influence somebody's life or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be. I, I must say, like, you, you gotta be careful what you say in the world today. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't like when we was growing up. Like, <laughs> I even think about that shit. And sometimes, like certain TV shows now, mm-hmm. they certain TV shows would not make it now, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, pause. Did you see? Like speaking of that shit, you see that Family Guy say there'd be no more gay jokes. I believe it. Like I, bro, they used to. In their hey, show, in their the show, show, bro. What? Like from now on, they might not even show the old show no more. You know what I'm saying? No more gay jokes. Think cool. about how we grew up with that shit. And didn't yeah. see no offense. It yeah. was just fucking fun. I don't even know how I got offensive. I don't even know how any of this. You know how them, uh, them alphabet people be, man. Mm-hmm. But it's even the race, crazy. even the racist jokes. Like I've been to a comedy show and they be saying like racist jokes. You know, like black people like chicken. You know, it's Chinese people. You know, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, right. it's funny to an extent. You know what I mean? But it's like the more sensitive people get, because they be the, the less, fucking truth. Yeah, the less, the less they gonna they gonna put it out there. <laughs> It's just, I just don't, I don't get it, bro. Like, the world is just too serious. Yeah, I really think it's the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, 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 though. Like, so, like, you know, they want us to censor everything so that at one point when we need to know the truth or, like, real information or real shit, we it's going to be censored. Yeah. Yeah. It's censored already. We don't know. Like, 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 that's crazy. You know, that's mm-hmm. that shit fast. Bro, he reminds me of Chris Brown. It's, it's, hey, bro. Damien. I was thinking, Damien. I was thinking that shit. Not Durant. Not Durant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time we show the episode, bro. Like, he would yeah. be like, is this cat with you? I'm not scared of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Damien. Because you know, he's going to take the Robert. Oh, shit, for real? <laughs> Y'all know Chris Brown? Y'all know Chris Brown? Chris Brown, for real? He's going to hit us up. What the fuck he even on show? He's talking about me. Yeah. Me. Nah, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking that shit though. Like, yeah, I was like, what is this? Might be I was thinking that the whole time. So, you like comedy, G? Yeah. Favorite comedian? Uh, Top three. Ooh, that's crazy. I like that one. That's a good off the wall favorite. For real talk. Yeah. Uh, another one. He just good with uh, impersonation. Impersonation. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, another one. Uh, It. Um, that should be tough. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to 85. Yeah. 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 Y'all yeah. inspired. Y'all inspired us. Y'all inspired us. Definitely shout out to 85. So. Yeah. All them all them fun. Chico be polysexual. Chico be, I don't know, but he, that nigga funny. He not not funny, but just he not like, you know, not. I ain't never seen him like on his own before. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he a cool ass nigga though. He is cool. Ass. That nigga a cool ass nigga. I don't know. He's cool. For sure. He's a cool ass nigga too. When he comes, he just a cool funny ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I would never, nigga. I would never like, 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 she but I would never in my life, you. I'm going to say this forever, I'll never get into an argument with DC Young. Oh, score and session with DC Young. <laughs> oh, hell no. He's going to roast the fuck yeah. out your ass, yeah. son. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what get it every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, oh my God, bro. Hell, hey, this, this, this random as fuck, but back in the day, I, I, I remember who's that man, and uh, the man that asked Sushi, I was being asked, she asked, she asked him, why does certain people get respect in the man? And he simply said, because they know how to scope. If you know how to scope, you get so much respect. Like, <laughs> I'll find you. Nobody wants to fuck with you. Like, like, you always like, you know, oh, no, 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 in my situation, when I was getting scolded on, if I was losing, I'd find a nigga who I know can't beat me laughing. Bitch, I know you ain't laughing. You ugly ass nigga. I know you ain't. I'm thinking you ain't going to do this. I'm thinking you ain't going to do this. Get on your motherfucking ass, boy. I ain't the one scolded on you. Like, yeah, you the one scolded on you, bitch ass nigga. No, no. Hey, I know I can't beat this motherfucker, man, so I'm going to say this. Oh, ho ass! Hey. It's gonna go to hell. I gotta redeem myself some type of way. You got, you got embarrassed, you got embarrassed somebody. <laughs> yeah, I got embarrassed some bitch, I'm finna embarrass you. You got them, you got the folks who wanna fight. Like, you can't yeah. with me though. Yeah, you can't with me though. It's gone. Yeah. I ain't trying. Yeah. Oh, we ain't talking about that. That's how you know when a nigga losing too when he ready to fight. We ready to fight. You lose like a mother. Nah, he ain't losing. He might be getting his feelings hurt. Man, what's up, bro? Can't with me though. Yeah. They gonna like that. They gonna just like that. Oh, shit. Did you just get in scoring sessions? I used to get scolded on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, shit, I just wouldn't know what to say and shit. And then when I did scold back, I'd say some lame shit. So I just been like, not saying something. Bro, <laughs> I give you the method of this shit right now. Go ahead. You know that nigga that's like always cool with the scold? So mm -hmm. he ain't never got a scold. Right, 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 right. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. Because I knew I was sorry. The, me the method is <laughs> when you looking at the person, you trying to find a defect. Somewhere. They hurt line, they weight, they size. Size. You size, Yeah, you size them up, you know what I'm saying? All oh, shit. Man. Like, it was one nigga at the pool, Glendale pool. I started getting on his feet. Cause I couldn't, it wasn't nothing that's wrong with nigga, no homo, but. Nigga, feet was busted as fuck. So I started getting on that nigga motherfucking toes, nigga, like it wasn't shit. Oh, oh rest to yeah, I don't like this shit. You just start going off on motherfuckers. Yep. Yep. And like, then, if you can't go off on them, and, and, and tear, like, act like you them. Say something that they don't say. Uh, like, mock yeah. mock they Yeah. It, 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 yeah, look at that. Shut up, man. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Like, it, it's easy, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, shit. Bro, in the moment, though, you just try to think of the last thing you heard and shit. Be like, nah, I can't. Man, shit right man, now. Man, Especially man. depending on who around. Yeah, like, yeah. Because oh, <laughs> they going to laugh at me if I say that. It's, it's different types, though, because you got them niggas that can just fire back quick. Oh, yeah. Then you got niggas that got they, they think for a minute. They know your head. The ones who fire back quick be ready. So yeah. They, they ain't got to yeah. get yeah. Them, like, just in case. The ones who fire back quick be sitting like, oh, mm -hmm. if he say something, I got this. Motherfuckers like, like Yeti. Motherfuckers like, because it's probably the nigga you been talking about in your head. Hey, for the years, yeah, 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 yeah. Told you say something. Like, get on your ugly. Yeah. Straight like that. Wait for this moment. Real quick. <laughs> 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 you, like, you like sports. I'm going to keep attacking that weakness. Yeah. Every like, time. I said, your feet. Every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. them old buddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watch that. Like, like, yeah. Until they do some. But see, scoring. Scoring on those friends make you be on your shit, too, though. Yeah. Like, for example, let's say you're scoring on shoes. Ooh. I'm not gonna come over here with no busted ass shoes to talk about. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, if you know I talk about nigga shoes, mm -hmm. 
you probably don't want to wear no bullshit shoes <laughs> around me. Because yeah, yeah. eventually it's going to come out and I'm going to get on your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's straight up. But it made me too gay. Oh, this shit funny. You on your toes and shit. Mm -hmm. Hell, we like, oh, that's, that's, that's the friends you gotta have. My shit wasn't trash, but it, I was just, I didn't give a fuck about shoes. Yeah, this is going. Like, what you got on? Got on that bullshit, boy. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah, but y'all didn't get shoes. They matched yeah, it, they matched it. I ain't got what I got on. What the fuck? That's the rest of 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 the rest I, I did put my, my brother on like, the Yeezys and shit like that. But before that, he about Jordan, he about the team. Oh, man. shit, the team. Uh, he was on the team, Jordan, like back in the day. I like back in the day. supposed to do that, bro. <laughs> no. So his first part, I remember. It's like before sleep. high. It's like freshman year high school. It's like I wasn't even really buying my own shoes. Right, 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 right. Oh, I wasn't influencing what shoes I was getting. She just bring shoes on. I'd be like. Yeah. Like, he had a lot of ones, but like none of the ones that's like ones, like the breads or he just had ones that was just doing regular ass colors, like, purple and green. Oh, so, you know, yeah. real simple <laughs> at that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, first, the, first, the first high shit that he had bought, and I was proud of him, it was some fire red fours. He bought them in college. Yeah, yeah, and that's when I was proud of him, because like, yeah, he got them hoes. Like, that's what's up. And after that, he came up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, remember, I remember I used to be flooded this shit where uh, <laughs> <He's> like, <"Nah." laughs> it's cause, it's cause I didn't care. Really I did I did care. I just did. Just didn't give a fuck. Nah, like until like probably freshman year, yeah. I wasn't buying my own shit. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, same, same. my grandma was buying my shit. Yeah. So right? I was like, damn, why I come to school, I was like, <laughs> I <laughs> said, I have a cake. Yeah, we had you <laughs> yeah. Oh. I only had two pet two, two of the same. Like outfits for the whole So how did you feel when y'all went to uniforms? Oh, uh, actually, it's crazy because we always had uniforms. Always. But my senior year, we didn't have uniforms no more because we had a riot at our school. Mm. And basically, like, we was on the news. Everything. Yeah. Oh, dude, throwing trash cans and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit? Crazy ass talking about. We must be in college. Yeah, y'all it's, okay. it's because they were trying to enforce the dress code like near the end of the year, and they hadn't enforced it the whole year. Oh, this is your senior year? Nah, this is my junior year. Oh, junior year. So everybody that was like, got in trouble for dress code had to go to the cafeteria. And I was like, why y'all sending them to the cafeteria? So they, it was a bunch of people in there. They just started yeah. wilding out. And they was in there all the way up until the first period of lunch came. And yeah. they were still in there. Yeah. So it was like, from like when school lunch. started until the first period of lunch? Yes. Damn. Yeah. So that's yeah. really why that's like three it hours. Was, it wasn't planned. They just said, It wasn't like, planned. Fuck, that day they were just like, we're going to crack down on dress code today. Well, so right. they, so you got shit load niggas in the cafe too. Nothing to do, no work. Yeah. 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 Nobody watching them? They probably didn't have rides on really. Probably so. Okay. Going crazy in that hood. So how, how was that going to your senior year? No, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was last year when I transferred to Hush for what I had to do after leaving Sasha. For real? Hush the hell? My senior year ain't did. Damn. That shit was just bad because, like, but I don't it, know, it, was it was hard. Like, damn, I got to find more shit to work on. Yo, yeah, that shit lost, bro. No, I ain't, no, you know, it's kind of bad because, like, when we, we had uniforms at Sock before I got there. When I first got there, it wasn't uniform. Really? Back, I don't think. I don't think. When you got that ahead, yeah, like my sophomore year, yeah, they were fresh uniforms. Year. That's when they used uniforms, and like it was hard at first because you had like two pearl pants, mm -hmm. like four shirts, so yeah, you you going in and out. Yeah. Of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when uniforms came, it was just like a breath of fucking fresh air, nigga. Like, oh, just go watch some dickies, nigga. Yeah, we had all the four dickies, black, navy, blue pants, yes, bro. Yo, I would say we didn't have uniforms at all. It was, it was, yeah, but I was used to it the whole time. Though. Yeah. But middle school, you had uniform. Yeah. See, that's the same for me. When I got a skyline freshman year, I went from uniforms to not wearing them. And I'm wearing, you know me, basketball shorts on. Chill. You know what see? Right. And then sophomore year, they were like, hey, uniforms in this hoe. And niggas was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it do make it easy to you know what you're going to wear. You know what I mean? For real. For I think the only reason for uniforms really is because niggas wear like gang type clothes and shit, red and blue. So that's why they really I thought this was niggas getting bagged, though. That was too. That's that's niggas was getting bagged, though. Like, bag, though. like you had some bullshit. Oh, yeah. Some bullshit. Yeah. Even I don't think that was though. a big. I don't think that was a big influence. Shit, the main shit was the game. That's what they said. So everybody was like, "Yeah, yeah." Shots up, nigga. Nigga, that's how I learned how to school. Even with uniform, because I was getting bagged on. Doctors on. Yeah, that's how I learned how to school. Even with uniform, because I was getting bagged on. Doctors on. Yeah, that's how I learned how to school. Even with uniform, because I was getting bagged on. Doctors on. Yeah, that's how I learned how to school. Even with uniform, because I was getting bagged on. Doctors on. Yeah
the hot shit. So yeah. I got dickies. You got these weak ass. Doctors. And then hey, you didn't have dickies. You were like senior. It got bad because it went from you can't even wear a regular collar shirt no more. Niggas had like Polo Ralph Lauren's on. Oh, God. Like niggas with Polo every day. Polos, Aero Pasta, Hollis. Yeah, I don't have one to look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> and then start making it so you had to cover up the logo if you had one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to cover the logo. Uh, yeah, they, they cracked down at some point. Like, if you got that big ass polo on your shirt, yeah, 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 you gotta cover that up. Oh, yeah, big shirt. I'm talking about big ass. Then folks wearing like different colors under the white shirt because we had white. Yeah. So they'll wear like a red undershirt. Yeah. You know, some red socks or something. <laughs> yeah. Try to match the You fucking can. Bro, mm-hmm. dudes did used to buy color belts. Mm hmm. That shit. I don't know. Cause you had to touch your anyway. Dude, you used to really be in this whole part of the I stayed under my shirt. I got to touch your shirt. You had a couple belts. Nope. You had a couple belts. I had the main belt. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. We don't know about that. You had a couple belts. I mean, I had the little leather black and brown. Black and brown. I'm talking about green, red, orange, purple. Nah, I was a Walmart built. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> 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 he built a whole thing. But it was, it was oh, suspect, though, because, like, niggas would be walking with their girl, and you they match head to toe. Like, they got the same belt on. 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 That shit kind of suspect. Then the nigga got his shirt tucked in, showing the belt off and shit. Got to, like, got to, yeah. But then he was some of the coolest niggas in school. That's the yeah. bad part. Like, mm-hmm. that shit stupid as a motherfucker. Yeah, that shit, that shit was an error. Yeah. That shit crazy. Or, or if you don't tuck the whole shirt in, you just took the front part. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. This is from yeah. NBA socks. Yo, 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 I had all of the colors, bro. The you should cut, so you gotta pull the shit up, so you can oh, see the socks. Oh God, that colors! Yeah, I got red oh, NBA socks on today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With my red socks. undershirt. You know what I'm saying? That shit died the fuck out. Mm-hmm. I had a main belt too. That's why I'm laughing because I had a main belt too. Oh yeah, yeah they oh, yeah. I had a main belt. I had a belt that said "Burn," like for real. And I was like, "Come on, boy." I, I didn't wear that over to school. That's the fucked up part. Oh, I, was yeah, yeah. Out. <laughs> I was a fly shit. I was a fly shit. You know, they used to tuck it in the one part of your shirt, leave the rest of your shirt out. Yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't shit, nigga. <laughs> like it wasn't <laughs> shit. Boy, y'all know how y'all would see somebody from school out in public. That was regular shit. You'd be like, their thing looks totally different. Like a whole so different person. Yeah. <laughs> you like, you all used to sit in the uniform forever. You like, damn, damn. Oh, man, she look fine. Yeah, yeah. She was looking at fun. You look at fun. That's good, man. Yeah, you're fine. Shoot my shot, uh, Monday. <laughs> no justice whatsoever. Oh, my lord. Y'all remember the tall tees? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for my tall tees. I wear tight clothes. Yeah, the tall tees. It works. You go know, breakfast. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see these shit. I don't know, bro. Like, when I wear baggy clothes, I be feeling like. <laughs> Smaller. When I wear a tiny clothes, I can see that. You feel it, yeah. Then you are. Yeah, that's really what it is, I bro. Think, well, fucked up, though, when fat niggas start wearing skinny clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, because I was one of the niggas that went through that. So, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> hey, wearing skinny ass clothes. Girls, too, bro. That be me. It was a lot of girls trying to wear little girl clothes. But it looked bad, because, like, I got all this muffin and shit, <laughs> and I got these little ass pants on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, I don't know if y'all met me in real life, so I got a big ass head too. So like, it's like a big ass head body type up here, then it's just small down here. <laughs> like that shit look bad, dog. That shit look horrible. See, see, why you let me do that all those years? I remember when that nigga told me like, bro. I really told him that shit. That shit was bad. <laughs> like, bro. Nah, but now I it's, fool you, shit. it's really, it's really the uh, the, the slim straight pants now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's mm-hmm. where everybody yeah. Goes. It's gonna, it's, uh, it's that baggy shit gonna come back. Yeah, it's kind of started coming back already. The baggy shit. It's coming back. Shit, shit getting like weird right now. So I feel like I don't know. Niggas going back to what they It's going to repeat. Like, yeah. back to the but top. they say they do say history. I always repeat. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. They yeah. did that to shit to long time ago. Yeah. That type of shit. Yeah. Then we went back. Yeah. Then yeah. we went back to yeah. tight. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that nigga was 170 pounds wearing 3X t shirts. Boy, wearing them big ass suits. Looking like Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga's big as fuck. Super big as 
Magic shit, big shit. Boot cut jeans and shit. Niggas wear skinny jeans for pants. I do that shit. Yeah, don't go back, baby. So let's talk about style, bro. Like, how did you come into your style? I'm talking about the clothes you wear and stuff like that. Like, what would you say is your style? 